Hello, Tano. How's everybody doing today? So, in today's recording, we'll be taking a look at a uh, build for Zephyr. This build is based off of high a lot of damage, basically. It is somewhat crowd control, but that's not what we're worried about. So, it's a very simple build and straightforward. Let's go into this. We'll be using all of Zephyr's abilities, and this is how they work. Go into air, hold down his first ability to stay here. Uh, his third ability is going to give him pretty much invincibility. Nobody can kill you up here because nobody can close the distance. And, uh, well, let's go into actually showing how this works. So first, let's summon some level 225 steel path heavy gunners. And uh, how does this build work? Is it really significant? Well, if we use Hydra's ability and spam it a bunch, we are not really going to do anything. But you can see that I can keep spamming the second ability. And heavy gunners are dying. Now, these are pretty heavy units. They have a lot of health, like a lot of health. And uh, they just got shredded. So, is this build something that you can use in any mission? And how long can you take this build in there? Uh, this is one of those builds where it takes time for you to get used to it and get a little bit more skills and, you know, get adjusted to it. But basically, this is how it works. It's hard to fuck up. Uh, if you're going into a survival, let's just go up here. Uh, forgot to get myself some of that. You can see that them shooting doesn't really do much because I'm bouncing the bullets off. So let's just... <clears throat> my throat is getting sore. And just cast one ability down. No, we, no need for doing it more. Just shoot and they're all dead. It doesn't take much uh, effort. You can see that, sh you know, shields are immediately gone. Uh, it's... It's effortless. So, if you throw it down and there, you just swing the weapon once, they're all gonna die. Very low effort, very safe build. It's keeping you invincible, but you know this does consume quite a bit of energy because it's like one energy point per second, and you're away from all the energy on the ground, which is fine. Even though this is a horribly optimized build for efficiency, it still works. So let's go into the build. The two of these are necessary because we are trying to armor strip the enemy and we need these to raise the cap of corrosive so we can apply more of it. This is going to help out with pretty much anything. <clears throat> now, um, why did we see viral there as well? So let's go over the mods. Uh, steel charge for, what do you call it, more melee damage. Uh, prime sure footer because I hate being knocked down and everyone else does. Now, this is the part where the build can be adjusted to your needs. If you don't have arcane energize, which is fine. You can throw an Equilibrium instead of a Transient Fortitude. That's that's pretty much it. You don't even need Blind Rage that much. The only reason why I threw this in is because I want as much damage as possible uh, from this thingy right here. But if you remove it, you can see it's a lot more affordable. Like, it went from 30% uh, percent, um, like 30 energy to like 17. So if you want to be a bit more energy efficient, you can. But in a, in a hectic mission, like uh, Steel Path Survival, especially on Fisher. Or conjunction if you can get there uh that's really not a problem you'll be getting energy left and right really and the fact that you're in the air that isn't really that big of a problem your companion is going to be picking things up for you so it's not that big of a deal so strength uh more range we got more strength and even more duration we then have the augment tempest barrage augment each projectile has a 100 chance of influ uh, inflicting a viral status effect Basically, that just gives Viral onto this uh, subsumed ability from Hydroid, allowing us to uh, damage them, as you saw there. More range, uh, efficiency here to sort of better the efficiency, because right now we're in, a bad, we're in a bad position. So if you want to, you can adjust the build. It is flexible. Very flexible, in fact. But this is how I play. So primed flow for plenty of room for energy so we can keep spamming and never stop. Now, if... Um, if you ask me if I did have one, I would throw in a Tau Forged Ember Archon Shard. It's that orange one, I think they recolored it. I think it's the orange one now. The one that gives you 75% efficiency and energy orbs. The one, one of those is going to fix a lot of your problems. Just one of those. But if you can go balls deep and throw in two of them or three of them, just to spam away. Now, uh, what's the, downsides of the, uh, the downside of this build? Um... You can't use melee while you're in the air. I guess. I don't know. Basically, it's just... It's simple. It doesn't take much effort. You hold down your first ability and you got this. 
Uh, your second ability isn't really capped. You can spam it as much as you want. Not sure if there's a limit. You can see that it's going down. And you'll be shooting from here, basically. Arcaplasmor is the best one, I'd say, because you can hit multiple tornadoes, deal a lot of damage. Like, a lot. And that's it, you know. Now, keep in mind, uh, this build is uh, pretty different depending on the tile set. Sometimes you don't have high ceilings, but you don't want to go high anyways. You need to be close enough to the resources. Essentially, the condition of this specific build, if you're going to copy exactly how mine is... Uh, the condition is you need to be in a steel path mission because you need a lot of enemies to give you energy. Aim for Eximus enemies, those drop energy all the time. And that's it. If anyone has any questions about the build or anything like that, uh, Discord is in the description as well. The comment section is there. Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing. I'd love to have you as a permanent viewer. And that's about it. I don't really have much else to show. I would go into gameplay, but Warframe keeps crashing. And... Um, I've had two instances now where I filmed a perfect video about two different weapons. It was amazing stuff. And uh, OBS decided not to record of it. It stopped recording after two seconds. You have no idea how dead I felt. But other than that, thank you Tenno for watching. I hope to see you again and peace.